Hello everyone. Before we start our lesson, we're going to recall our past lesson. Number one, sound is propagated through vibrations. Number two, sound travel fastest in solid followed by in liquid then gas. Number three, the higher the temperature, the faster the sound. We are now in our week 5, lesson 5. Colors of light. Our enabling competencies are, number 1, explain that the red is the least bent and violet is the most bent according to their wavelengths or frequencies. Number 2, demonstrate the existence of the color components of visible light using a prism or diffraction grating. Our most learning competency for this week, we are going to explain the hierarchy of colors in relation to the energy of visible light. Lesson objectives number one, describe the dispersion of light. Number two, use electromagnetic spectrum to understand light. Infer that light is composed of colors of different frequencies and wavelengths. And last, understand the arrangement of colors of light and shows the hierarchy of colors corresponding energy. This lesson will help you to understand concept about light. The science of light has gone all the way from a mere transfer of energy to the creation of colors for entertainment and other purposes. Most of our gadgets are light emitting for efficiency when used at night. In the field of medicine, light is used to cut through the skin for the surgery as in laparoscopy. The health sciences are also using light for other medical purposes. But the most important purpose is for humans and other animals to see the beautiful world through light. So, are you ready to explore the characteristic and properties of light? Let us begin our lesson by knowing the characteristic of light. Light is an example of electromagnetic wave. Remember that sound is a kind of mechanical wave that needs a medium to transfer or propagate. Electromagnetic waves is the opposite of mechanical wave. It doesn't need a medium for them to travel or propagate like radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. Light exhibits the characteristics and properties of a wave. It is classified as an electromagnetic wave located between the spectrum of infrared and ultraviolet. The light is the only electromagnetic wave that can be perceived or seen by our eyes. The cone-shaped cells in our eyes act as receiver tuned to the wavelengths in this narrow band of the spectrum. Other portions of the spectrum have wavelengths too large or too small and energetic for the biological limitations of our perceptions. That is why it is known as the visible light or visible spectrum. White light is not a single color. It is made up of a mixture of seven colors of the rainbow. Light is composed of colors of different frequencies and wavelengths, and the arrangement of colors of light shows the order of the colors corresponding energy. Roy G. Vib is the only part of the spectrum that can be seen by the naked eye. How Rainbows Are Formed as we have said, light does not need a medium. In order to propagate or travel, it moves 
in a maximum speed in a vacuum, but light travels it slows down depending on the medium it travels. Characteristics of light. It is in the bending of light or change in direction of light as it passes from one transparent medium into another that is called refraction. The change of direction is caused by a change in speed. For example, when light travels from air into water, it slows down causing it to continue to travel at a different angle or direction. Refraction is responsible for dispersion in rainbows and many other situations. Dispersion is a kind of refraction that separates the seven colors of white light, the rojivid. As light passes through a prism, it is bent or refracted by the angles and plane faces of the prism and each wavelength of light is refracted by a slightly different amount. A ray of white light that passes through a prism is dispersed into the visible spectrum of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Now let us identify which colors of the rainbow has the longest wavelength. Right, it's the red color. How about the color that is most bent or has the shorter wavelength? Correct, the violet. The red has least bent among the colors because it has the longest wavelength. Wavelength is the distance between the crest to crest or trough to trough. As we notice, red has the highest wavelength with 620 nanometer as compared to the orange with 590 nanometer only. The violet has the most bend because it has the shortest wavelength in the visible spectrum. And this is the reason why Roy David is the arrangement of rainbow. Let us observe the video. The man A in his routine of battle ropes. As we can see that he makes wave through moving or vibrating the ropes. As we can see, he produces longer wavelength in his ropes. In the second video, it is noticeable that Man B is also creating waves in his battle rope routine, but he produces shorter wavelength and much faster than Man A. Who do you think gives more energy? Is it Man A or Man B? Correct, it's Man B produces more energy than man A because the waves produced in his ropes are shorter and faster. Now, how can we connect, connect the energy in wavelength and its speed? From the examples, we have learned that the higher the energy, the shorter the wavelength and the faster the waves. Now, following the concepts that we have learned, how can we compare red and violet? We have learned that red has the longest wavelength in the visible spectrum and violet has the shortest. If the red has the longest wavelength, it means that it carries less energy while violet with shortest wavelength has the greater energy in the visible spectrum. Always remember that the shortest the wavelength the harmful it is that it can be easily penetrated or enter in our body. Therefore, since violet has the shortest wavelength, meaning it is the most harmful color 
and red is the most safe or less harmful in the visible light. How can we see colors? Example in this red apple. When light hits the apple, it contains the seven colors. The apple gets its color because it absorbed all the colors except for the red that bounce or reflected in its surface. The reflected color is perceived by our eyes. That is why we see the apple color. This is the reason why it is advisable to wear white clothes during summer or sunny days. It is because all colors were reflected and nothing is absorbed. That makes us feel comfortable. Opposite to white is black. All colors were absorbed in these clothes, so it was advised to wear black or dark shades during cold days. Why the sky is blue? Gases and particles in Earth's atmosphere scatter sunlight in all directions. Blue light is scattered more than other colors because it travels at shorter, smaller waves. This is why we see blue sky most of the time. Why the sunset is red? During sunset, the sunlight travels a long path through the atmosphere to reach our eyes. The blue light has been mostly removed, leaving mostly red and yellow light remaining. The result is that the sunlight takes on an orange or red cast, which we can see reflected from clouds or other objects as a colorful sunset. Shadows are places where light is black. Light travels in straight lines. Light travels faster than sound. Light travels very fast around 300,000 kilometers per second or 186 miles per hour per second. At this speed, it can go around the world eight times in one second. Which comes first, lightning or thunder? We first see lightning before hearing the sound of thunder. The light of the gun also comes first before its sound. And that's all. Thank you.